Today on Newsbreak, we have highlights from girls' basketball game last night versus New Fonda. More rain and mixed precipitation possible today. Jacob Voss has the details. All this and more on this Tuesday, December 15, 2015. Good afternoon, SLHS. I'm Tyler Dennis. And I'm Margaret Hynitz. Now let's look at your top stories for today. The SLHS Student Council will be hosting a Christmas dance this Saturday night in the Shoe Heart Circle from 9 p.m. until 12 a.m. There will be an ugly sweater contest and lots of decorations, so be sure to join in. All profits will go to Pennies for Patients. Moving on, there is a boys' soccer sign-up sheet in the office for any boys interested. And the class rings will be on this Thursday. Any students that took an ILCC class need to have their ILCC textbook turned in by this Friday, December 18th. ILCC face-to-face -face courses will begin on January 13th. And online courses will begin on January 16th. Any students interested in taking the ACT in February should see Mrs. Nelson to get signed up. The deadline to register is January 8th. And finally, happy birthday to Emily Lehner. And no way, Tyler Dennis, happy birthday. <laughs> now, well, boss, it's a little wet out there. Yeah, well, wet for your birthday. Huh? <laughs> yeah. That's not usual for this time of year. Normally, no. you have snow for your birthday, but uh, yeah. sorry, I don't know that today. But sorry. We might have a little bit tonight, but uh, mainly mixing with rain and snow. So, kind of a messy forecast. Let's go check out what we got going on. And from yesterday, 67 hundredths of an inch of rain. That's an impressive number. It's the third largest uh, amount of rain in a single day that we've ever had in uh, December. So, pretty interesting today. Tomorrow, though, rain this afternoon. Changing into rain and some mixed uh, precip and snow tonight. And as we go into tomorrow morning, that will end for us. And we'll continue with those clouds tomorrow. Take a look at future scans, see what's going on. Some scattered activity could be possible by the early afternoon hours this afternoon. Especially if we go into the evening hours, starting with some rain, then spreading in with some snow and mixed precip as well. But take a look at the snowfall forecast, a trace to an inch of snow. I mean, not any accumulation at all. As we, at all. Then as we go into the forecast for day 34 degrees today, a low of 33 tonight. So that's those tricky temperatures there um, with ice and snow and rain all mixed together. As we go into tomorrow, we'll be 34 as well with windy conditions and those that precip ending in the morning hours. Continuing with the windy conditions there on Thursday, pretty cold there at 19 on Friday, then really warm up again as we go into Sunday, 40 degrees. But for now, back to you guys. Taking a look at sports for today, the girls' JV and varsity basketball teams took on the last year's 1A state champs last night. It was a close game for the JV team and the Mustangs led half at half, 16 to 15. Spirit Lake played hard but couldn't quite get the win. Newell Fonda took the win, 33 to 28. Spirit Lake and Newell Fonda were neck and neck in the first half, but the Mustangs had the lead 28 to 25. After the third, the Indians held a small lead over Newell Fonda, 43 to 38. The game was tied 45 to 45 with three minutes and 10 seconds left in the fourth. Spirit Lake pulled ahead and took the win, 57 to 48. The freshman boys took on Astro Lincoln Central last night. The ELC took the win over the Indians, 41 to 29. The JV and varsity boys and girls basketball teams will be at ELC tonight. The boys and girls JV teams will both play at 445. The varsity girls will start at 615, then followed by the boys at 745. That is a look at your sports. Back to you guys. Now let's send it over to Tyler Knudsen to see what's trending today. All right, thanks Tyler. We also have Emily Parks here, and it's Christmas time. It means it's time for holiday trivia. So we'll have two questions today, tomorrow and Thursday, and then coming back next Tuesday. Let's get started. All right. How does Santa go back up the chimney when he's done delivering all the presents? No, it's, it's kind of a common question, I guess. So it's either A, clicks heels three times and prances like a ballerina. B, places his finger inside of the nose, smiles, nods, and then that's that. Uh, C, trick question, he walks out the front door and back up to the roof. Or D, reindeer pull him up by a rope through the chimney. Is this really a common question? I feel like it's a fairly common question. I've never heard this. I've never heard it either. Okay, I go B. I B. A. Are you kidding me? This is Okay, got Alright. And the answer is B. Yeah. He yeah. Yeah. This yeah. finger on the side of his nose and shoots. What? I didn't cheat. I didn't cheat. I had to be. It just wasn't as big as you Okay, I'll go on to the second question. So the second right. question is in the song The Twelve Days of Christmas, my true love brought to me nine A calling birds, B French hens, C ladies dancing, D geese of light. Then Tyler wants to sing the song for us. <laughs> he is no. Also. No. It might help you. Oh, can I see? Wait, what well, can I see then? Okay. <clears throat> All right, I got my two turtle doves. <laughs> okay. okay. 
Ah, I C. 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 That's correct. Yeah. yeah. So we're all tied up at two. No, I know. <laughs> oh, never mind. My best still bad, I guess. <laughs> I'm not gonna have the power in your Well, we'll try again tomorrow. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching Newsbreak and have a great day.